Hi everyone! Today we're putting Troy Solo into a real open source workflow. We'll start by taking the long chain codebase, give Solo full contacts, and let it work like an actual engineer. So the plan is simple. We'll start with picking a real GitHub open issue and let Solo fix it, providing a patch, and then submit the PRs. And then we'll also find some room for improvements in this codebase and let Solo Coder just take over it. And let's see how it is. So currently I already have the long chain codebase on opened in this repository. And from the browser tab, I can actually open up uh, the GitHub repository for this. So what I'm gonna do is, because this is like a very new codebase to Solo, I will ask Solo Builder to understand the codebase first. I will start by asking Solo Coder to understand the product structures and give me an overview. And now you can see that the search agent is actually on its work. And while it's doing this, let me just quickly create it a new branch for our fix. Now you can see that actually give us an overview of the launch chain codebase, a monorepo with split packages, and also give us the repository layouts, and also the data flows, and rack stack that they're using. So this actually helps both me and the agent to better navigate the open source project. And let's start on our new task. So now we can see that we have these open issues uh, here. So let's pick one and uh, see how Solo Coder is doing it. Uh, so I'll pick this Olama one. Looks like the Olama LLM base URL is ignored. So uh, let's ask Solo Coder to try to fix this issue. So I'm actually going to start a new task. So here I already have a Git branch master, which is uh, my own sub agent for managing all my uh, GitHub branch management, like for managing all my GitHub actions. Uh, usually for it to run pretty fast, I would like to use Kimi for uh, this agent. So now let's ask uh, the Git branch master to switch to a new branch for fixing this issue and then pull the latest changes. And now we can see that it's actually getting the issue 33986, which is the one that we want to fix, and to understand the branch namings, and then it's creating the branch. And if we turn on the flow, let's just follow uh, the agent's actions on this. And now we are on the new branch called uh, fix for this specific issue. And now let's switch back to the solo coder to see if it can fix this issue. And we can see that Solo Coder has a really good coding practices. It starts by locating the issue, and then in the to-do list, it's also added that they will have tests covering the fix, and then and and run the test before it verifies the fix. So now let's just watch Solo Coder to debug this issue. It's actually now uh, changing the file and running the unit test. So now the fix is completed. It gives back a summary of what has been fixed. Um, and also the root cause that Solo Coder identified. And then it also adds more test coverage. So it actually looks good. And we can also see the file changes to see what has been changed. Look, it looks like it just added the parse URLs uh, with uh, the new host name. And it also added more test coverage for this call. So it looks good. And I want to make a comment for this message. So let's do it. So now I'm gonna ask Solo Coders to submit a PR for this fix. And it looks like the PR just got created, so we can click on this. So it looks like Solo Coder just submitted a PR for me uh, to push out this fix. And it also gave me a summary, uh, implementation details, and the root cause of it, and also the test that Solo Coder just added. So this looks super clean and super neat. And so with Solo Coder, we just contributed to make a fix for this giant open source project. And now I'm gonna give Solo Coder an even more challenging task. So right now I'm gonna start a new task and ask Solo Coder to scan the code base and identify any improvements opportunities specifically for optimizing calls. Uh, because I've already have this built-in sub-agent um, th that is an expert in understanding the performance optimizations, so I will also specifically ask Solo Coder to use this sub-agent to formulate a plan. So let's kick it off with the plan mode first.
So now we can see that Solo Coder automatically called the LM optimizer, uh, which is our specialist in uh, doing system refactorings for large language model applications, and then uh, looking into a refactor plan for uh, this launching code base. And while it's working, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out to another branch uh, so I can submit the refactor um, separately later without conflicting other changes. So now you can see that we have uh, both tasks running in parallel. One agent, which is our Git branch master, is managing the Git work tree. And then the other agent, uh, LM optimizer, together with solo coder, is actually formulating the plan. So now we have this new branch created called Optimize LM Calls Performance. And we can use this branch to further work on our refactoring work. And now our optimization plan is waiting for our action, so let's take a look. So it starts with a scope and findings, and then providing several options for optimizations. It also provides some suggestions for how do we validate, like adding unit tests and running integration tests for like streamings and no streamings. Um, okay, so for this change, I'm gonna focus on making one optimization first. So I'm gonna start with dealing with a higher throughput for multiple prompts and then optimizing the parallel sync generates. So I'm gonna select this part and then add it to chat. Now the solo coder kicked off our refactoring by refactor the selected part first. So this looks pretty detailed. I'm just gonna let it kick off the execution. And now I'm gonna have the flow mode turn on and just watch solo coder change code for this refactoring. Okay, looks like it just made the change and provide us the artifacts. Let's check the diffs. Looks like they generated a change log of what has been changed. And then let's check the chat models.python and we can see that they changed the enumeration function into a new function that allows like multiple prompts. I think the change looks good to me so let's submit a PR for this um, refactor and I'm gonna switch to git branch master again. Okay, uh, the Git branch master just submitted a PR and let's take a look. All right, um, it generated a PR title for us um, to summarize what has been changed. And let's take a look at the details. So it's provide us a description, um, write out the technical details of what has changed and evaluate the performance impact and also providing a very detailed like checklist and related documentations. And that's all for today's video. We just made some small contribution to the open source community with the help of Solo Coder. So if you're interested in learning more about Solo Coder as well as Trey, feel free to leave in the comments below and subscribe to our channels and communities. And see you in the next one.